through the right side for a base hit. Torres being waved home. It's juggled in right field by Pham, so it's a moot point, and the Yankees immediately jump in front, 1-0. Soto fakes the bunt, and on the next pitch, hits the hole between first and second base. Luis Garcia, the third base umpire, was going to send him all the way. Why? Well, Tommy Pham, at 34 years old, not does not have the best arm, so they're going to be aggressive right off the bat, and it didn't matter because he juggled it. Massey goes down on strikes. Called strike three. Second strikeout of a one, two, three first inning for Cole. One nothing Yanks after one. Cole's 0 2 pitch. Struck him out. High fastball got him. No runs ahead, a man is left. After three, still one nothing New York. Verdugo hits one toward the middle, backhanded by Massey with a flip to second base. What a play. They get the force, but a tremendous combination between Massey and Witt Jr. What a play to get to this baseball with the backhand and then just the shovel to Witt, who had the spin before he threw it to first and the play late at first. But both these guys are gold glovers in the way they play. We'll see if they get one. Line drive to right that's going to drop for a base hit. Torres comes through. Verdugo trots home. Birdie sprints to third. Two nothing Yanks. Remember in game one he hit that home run off Walker and now another big hit to drive in a run here in the fifth. Doubled and scored in the first. Knocks home the second run here in the fifth. And that's it for Waka. And he strikes his bell out to end the Kansas City fifth. Hit through the middle. Boy, they just cannot handle Stanton. And it's 3 0 Yankees. Scoring a run. And Stanton just impossible to get out for this Kansas City team. Ball was hit like a bullet between the legs of Ursay. He made the good slider pitch out of the strike zone in the prior pitch. Chisholm at first. And Volpe lines it to Goriel, who's going to turn it into a double play. <laughs> a little do -si do there with Chisholm, and then eventually Goriel said, hey, enough of this. I'll just backpedal to the bag and end the inning. What a play to his right. And then once he got the first, kind of moonwalked the out. <laughs> Not when Cole is right. Bouncing ball taken by Birdie. Steps on the bag. He throws to second. The tag on Garcia. And they get the double play. He's asking for a replay. And also, he's asking maybe Volpe to reconsider something. And he, he, Torres he, is walking Garcia off. And now both benches empty. And here come the bullpens. Well, at first I thought the double play would quiet the crowd. But with the benches emptying, they're involved again. And Jazz Chisholm would do well to stay out of this because he's already public enemy number one here in Kansas City. The entire Yankee team would do better to stay out of this. They got the 3 nothing lead. They don't want anything to happen. That's where this started. Yeah. First, nice play by Birdie with the accurate throw and the late slide here by Garcia. And he kind of came in spikes heavy. And that's when Volpe kind of pushed him off the bag. Then another tag there and then a pat on the chest. And Garcia did not like that. Another 0 2 pitch. A drive to left center field. Verdugo in pursuit. He will not get there. Up against the wall. Win around third. He's going to score the Royals' first run. And Kaufman Stadium comes alive again in the sixth. Well, good hitting here from Pasquantino. Pulled the curveball down the right field lane, uh, line foul, and then gets a fastball and hits it in the gap in left center. With might be the fastest player in baseball. Simple run for him around the bases. Isbell had eight regular season home runs. Sends this one to deep right. Back goes Soto by the bullpen. And he's got it with his back against the bullpen fence.
and give the Yankees a good go and I'm out of the outcome here. Called strike three. Perfect fastballs right on the corner, framed beautifully from Wells. Starts that ball, it's off the plate and just keeps running back and catches the corner. Weaver deals. And Pasquantino strikes out on three pitches. That's just outstanding change up two in a row from Weaver. And look at the grip circle change plenty of spin. Weaver makes quick work. Of Pasquantino and then Perez striking them both out. In the air to center field. Judge has it lined up and the Yankees are on their way to the LCS. The Royals gave them a good battle. All four games were close. But the Yankees who didn't make the postseason last year a rarity now advance to the LCS. In the history of the franchise the most successful franchise in baseball history by far they finished first. 50 times either in the league or in the American League East once they went to divisions plus they were a wild card nine times counting this year so they've been in the postseason 59 times in team history and this time they advance beyond the division series to the LCS where they'll meet either the Tigers or the Guardians and Judge and the Yankees are on to the next round. Judge playing that demanding center field all season long a historic year. Brad Osmus and Aaron Boone with the hug. Luke Weaver what a finish he had to this season. Two strikeouts here in the ninth. And Juan Soto is going to be as coveted. This winner as anyone who's ever played the game. There's something appealing though about remaining in New York. <laughs> With all the history of the franchise hitting ahead of judge friendly right field barrier out there. But he'll listen to all offers and there will be plenty.